Hello! <laughs> this is Pitan, and today I am going to show you what's in my violin case. But firstly I thought I'd show you what's on the outside because that's what usually grabs people's attention when I'm walking around in the city with my violin. Um, so firstly, I've got this kind of like Lucky Charm. I bought it from Japan. I forgot what it says, but I think it's something to do with like safety when traveling because usually I would carry this, um, you know, everywhere. And, but this case is an original BAM case. Uh, it's very common and it does its job very well. I've had this for, I think, almost more than 10 years and I've bumped it everywhere, but it's still in very great conditions. So I highly recommend if you want to invest in a violin case, get a good um, kind of like durable violin case. Um, so we've got stickers here. We've got a pit and dark pit sticker from Redbubble. We've got a One Piece sticker and a, just a Invincible Star from Super Mario. We've got Objection from Phoenix Wright. We've got a reflector sticker. So like during the night, usually um, when I'm carrying my violin case, cars will drive by and then this will reflect um, as the light hits it. So it's, I guess it's kind of like for my safety. We've got a quote from Legend of Zelda, it's dangerous to go alone, take this. And I thought it was just suit very suitable uh, to put this on my violin case. We've got Suki sticker from Haikyuu, which is an anime, and it, the art style is in, in a Daria form, if you know that show. And then we've got a Hyrule symbol sticker. And last but not least, I got a Ray Chan signature here. I actually brought my violin case to one of his Sydney recitals and I got him to sign it. So yeah, he's a really amazing and humble Australian uh, violinist, so I highly recommend you guys to check him out. But now on to looking inside and opening up. So firstly I've got a yellow uh, microfiber cloth. It's basically used to clean the rosin off my strings and just to clean the violin. Um, and then the main um, part of my case, the violin. I th this is my first full sized, and um, I got this back in I think year seven or year eight, which is I guess equivalent to middle school. And um, this was made in I think after or during World War II by. I'm not too sure, you can usually see the maker in here, but it's kind of like worn out. But I think he was a student or somewhat related to Stradivarius, so that's really exciting. Um, but I never considered changing because I really love this violin. Um, I've got a mute on the violin. This mute is very useful for when it comes to like orchestral or chamber music. Basically you just clip this on the bridge and it gives like a more muted sound. You can't really hear it when I pluck it, but when I play a note, then um, you would definitely hear it. And then this basically is like a little magnet, which sits on the tailbone, and it kind of keeps my magnet in, uh, my mute in place, uh, so I won't lose it. And then I've got a green ribbon on my violin. I've kept this for a reason, because it was um, useful in a special event back in middle school. So I'll put that to the side. I have a bag, which has my um, Zoom i7, IQ7 mute, uh, not mute, IQ7 mic. And I use this, I used to use this for my videos, but now I upgraded to a different mic. But this is also just very useful for ensemble recordings or on the go recordings. But I use this mainly for my V2R trio. And that just goes in here so that I don't forget when I go out. Um, I've got a shoulder rest here. This is the Wolf or the Wolf Forte Secondo shoulder rest. Um, I use this because I have a very long neck and then this gives me the extra height so that the violin feels more comfortable on my shoulder. Really good. Um, I've got a brown tea towel here. This is also just in case I feel my shoulder rest is not high enough. So I put this on my shoulder to give it a little bit uh, more extra height but also sometimes when it comes to performances and my hands are sweating, I just use this to wipe my sweat off. So that can come in handy. I got a small black, oh, got a small black notebook 
it's just I used to write stuff that I've practiced or any notes but I haven't had a proper violin lesson in two years which is quite sad but I've got you I've gotten used to it but just in case I just jot some notes down on that I've got a blue bag here that I actually handmade back in year seven it has a little pouch here which I just basically put some clips on and then behind I actually printed a Peter Chris Uprising uh, print print art art style artwork I don't know and inside it's just basically like important things for rehearsals so like pencils pens erasers um, a hair tie yeah and the funny thing is sometimes if I forget my pencil case for uni but I have my violin I just whip up <laughs> whip open my violin and grab a pen and people look uh, people around me just look at me like oh my god she's gonna serenade us but in fact I'm just trying to take down notes like a good student and then I have spare violin strings these are ever parazzi um, I've been using these type of strings for like quite some time they're a little on the pricey side but they do the a really nice job for my violin and it's always good to bring spare strings in case your strings snap or your friend's strings snap so I've always rescued or helped out other people in distress during a performance so yeah always bring spare strings and they can be old it doesn't have to be new um, this usually is between um, my bows but I don't know why I was there but this is just a postcard of some smash characters you can get a closer look and or this way I don't know what the camera's facing very cute I got it at a convention um, and then we got some stickers here these stickers basically I would just cut them and then I use them for my students violin um, to be placed on the fingerboard so that they know where to pay, place their fingers full of certain notes okay onto the bows I have two bows I have a brown and a black so let's look at the brown the the brown one this one is my practice bow but I also use this performance for performances because it kind of gives it a really nice lush and smooth quality to the sounds that I, it produces and it has a really nice um, kind of like engravement here instead of like a traditional dot um, but yeah this is this feels slightly heavier than usual and then this black one is a car black carbon fiber bow. Let me um, move it closer to the camera so you can kind of see the pattern. I don't know if you can. But this one is lighter, strangely enough, and this gives it a really nice kind of dry, attacky um, flavor to um, the notes I produce. So sometimes I would use the brown one for more lush um, covers for example like Bramble Blast or Somewhere to Belong and then this black one would be more for like gourmet race or pieces that are fast and kind of drier in quality. Um, and then we're going to move on to this small pouch right here. This pouch can actually be detachable so it, there's a velcro. You can pull it out. There we go. So it just looks like that. And then I just keep it in here. Um, we've got Viol, which is a alcohol, gentle alcohol cleaner for the violin, so it can clean the violin board, uh, the wood and the um, strings. We've got some rosin here, I don't know how to pronounce that and I'm not going to attempt to, but it's uh, just a circular one and it's in a really nice kind of like autumn um, ambery colour. Rosin is very important. It's the most state. Uh, it's like the most staple item you need in a violin case. And then I've got some medical tape. Um, when I used to play recitals or pieces, they would give me blisters on my fingers, especially um, this Ravel piece where it had a lot of plucking. So this finger here would get a blister because of the plucking. Um, so I would just put medical tape or sometimes the fingers on the bow would just feel kind of sore or a little raw. Um, I've got some spare AAA batteries and this is for whenever if I'm at a gig and this blue turn runs out of battery I've got a backup so it's always nice to be prepared for gigs. 
And last but not least, I've got these extra, or these fine tuners that were originally on my violin, but I got them pulled out because you don't need it for full size. You only need the E string fine tuner because the E string only requires a little bit of tuning compared to your other three strings. And that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoy this boxing and I will put down any of these things mentioned in the description below or I'll try my best or you can um, message me any questions and I hope you have a good day. Bye!